Hello everyone, this time we will bring you a Seagate 241 a malfunction repair case. When we are processing Seagate Rosewood hard drives, we may find a head full with 241A data. In fact, the sectors are readable, but the data read is basically the same, starting with 241A. And the data copy speed for this kind of sectors is normally 1 megabyte or less. Many people have said that this problem is caused by data misalignment, but in fact, this can be fixed by adjusting the head adaptive parameters. The disk we received today is from a MRT customer. His disk is a SD1000LM035, with two heads. The data on head 0 is normal. The data on head 1 is with 241A for most of the sectors. So we will demonstrate how to operate the head adaptive parameters to fix 241A. As you can see, we already copied a bunch of data in DE. The data in the green sector is normal. And here you can see a dark blue sector. It is the segment with 241A malfunction. So how to deal with it? Firstly, we need to open the statistics bitmap of the drive. After opening the bitmap, we can check the color blocks of the drive that we need to clear. Generally speaking, I recommend cleaning up the slow yellow, the 241A, and the SIDU sectors. The ones with red or black can be ignored for the time being. After clearing the sector bitmap, you can see that the sectors with read problems have been restored to their default values. They're all white, so we can recopy them. Before recopying, we need to do a test of the drive first. Let's check how we can turn the 241A data into normal data. Before adjusting, we can set the baud rate to a higher setting of 6 megabytes per second in this window. If you are using MRT's new terminal, this baud rate can be set to 6 megabytes per second. Then open the head adaptive parameters. In the panel, you can see a head 0 here. You can see the user zone 01234567, and a list of zones is shown here. This is zone table. The numbers on this zone table are the head adaptive parameters of the head 0. Now we need to change the parameters of head 1 because we have finished the data reading of head 0. Firstly, we select all the segments of head 1. After this, let's change the step value. We will use the default step value of 5.at this time. There are two arrows. Arrow up means step value up. Arrow down means step value down. Generally speaking, the head adjustment of Seagate Rosewood disk is usually adjusted upwards. The parameter of head 1 segment table is around 40. Let's look at the segment 0. Its initial parameter is 47. Generally speaking, we adjust the 47 to about 63 to fix the 241A to read the real data. Let's adjust the step value. Select all. Adjust upward to about 63. We are at 6A now, a little bit more. And then click the button right to ROM. After writing, it needs to be powered off and on before it can take effect. Here we first power off and then power on to check. Because it does a virtual start, you still need to load the virtual loader. After loading, the drive will be ready. Then we can switch to the DE. Check if the previous 241A sectors can be read or not. We can see nothing changed. That is to say, adjusting the step value from 47 to 6A does not work. So we need to continue to adjust upward. Here we read another sector. There is nothing. It is not read at all. Then we have to continue to adjust the drive's head parameters. Let's adjust this parameter from 6A to 74 to see if we can read the real data after the parameter adjustment.
Well, it's still not reading the data, so maybe it's a little too high. Let's adjust the parameter from 70 to 30 and see what happens. Now the situation has changed. It is still 241A, but the unreadable sectors can be read now. This means the head adjustment of the adaptive parameters really has an influence on the head. In that case, let's adjust it a little less, upwards from 47 to more than 50. Now adjust it to 56 and then write to the hard disk. In fact, this write operation is writing to ROM chip. After this, power off and reload the hard drive's virtual start. Now let's jump to DE to see the hard disk. Can we read the real data at this time? OK, now I have selected a new address. This is where you can see that the sectors are obviously being read correctly. So to verify that if this 241A is completely repaired or not, let's reread the 241A sectors we read before. That is, the three sectors in dark blue. This is still the data from the previous cache. Now we refresh it. We can see that the first few hexadecimal numbers have become 0A14. That means this 241A is corrected now. Let's go back and read the first one in blue block. IT becomes 026D. Then the next one becomes 150E. This basically can be read, and then there is a red block cannot be read. This red block is directly refreshed and becomes 229D. Now the symptoms of this 241A have almost been solved. Let's do a copy of the data to see if there are any problems. After all, there may be still some problems with the head, so we can use the PIO reading when setting up the copy. This way is slower, but it will skip faster when it reads the bad track. It won't stuck in the same place for a long time. Now I'll copy it again. Look at the speed. It is more than 1 megabyte per second for some places, and even can reach 5 megabytes per second for others. Now I'm copying with single block. It may be faster if we change the single block to 64 or 2016 blocks per second. But for the safety of the head, it's better to copy more in a relatively slow way. Overall, the copy speed is faster than the previous 241A, and the data is correct now. That is to say, we could obtain the data by modification of head adaptive parameters. The problem with this disk is a typical 241A malfunction, so adjusting the parameters of the head can help you copy as much of the customer's real data as possible without changing the heads. It's the end of this sharing today. If you have any questions about this method, please contact our technical support team. Thank you for watching and see you next time.